Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? What's up, peoples? What's up? What's up, T.I. world? It's your boy, Gang Stalk Assimilation. Another day out here in the Matrix. In this fake ass simulation that they done designed for us. You know what I noticed, man, about these people? One thing I know is I'm going to tell you something. I, you know, you know, like I said, you know they're tracking every move we make, right? We're like, we're like, we're like, um, we're like dots on, on like a, 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 a map or like a Google app or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you, you looking, you looking to, for a location, we are that we are we are dots. One thing I notice about these people of why they try to get so close to you. That's the whole agenda. I said it before and I say it again. I'm I'm learning their patterns, man. You know what I'm saying? Um red vehicles, red hats, red clothing. And not all of them wear red, you know, not all of them. But you know, I had my neighbor come out the door today, African dude, and I knew him and his girl She's sexy as hell. But anyway, um, I knew they both were stalkers because I saw the babe, you know, you know how they be looking at their phone and stalking you. I, and then the day her, her, her boyfriend comes outside, as soon as I come out there, he walks out there and he walks. He speaks. I speak. You know what I mean? And he and we walk. We just happen to walk down the steps together. But he had this real bright ass red hat that I never seen him wear before. So, so um, he had this real bright red hat on that I never seen before, and he looked me right in my eyes. You know what I mean? And that was basically a code, <laughs> just to let me know that he's down with with the team. He's down with the gang stalking team, the AI team. You know, whoever's controlling this crap, the, 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 the AIs, the artificial intelligence, because, yes, it's big like that. And for them to have all these people out here, I, I'm trying to tell you, man, the, the best way to pretty much explain it is um, just to just to say, I mean, if you know anything about gang affiliation, then that right there can, you know, if you can just understand that then you can pretty much understand this, you know, and, and what I mean by that is, um, you know, how, you know, the, the red, the, the Crips wear blue and, um, the blood wear, um, red, the bloods wear red. So, you know, that's their language. You know, they, they are, they are speaking the language through colors, you know, and that's what, that's what these gang stalkers do. They, they speak a language through colors. They wear certain colors for whatever, whatever, whatever reason, um, I don't fucking know. I guess just to sensitize you or whatever, um, so you could become, you know, it become a norm to you. You just always be seeing people with why, why, why everybody around me got red on. You know what I mean? Guy I got somebody walk past you with a red coat. Somebody walk past you with red pants on, um, red jeans, red hat. You know, red cars. You know, I see it all the time. So. So like I said, everything works in patterns. So I'm I'm really, really um just basically picking up on all the things that they do. And all they doing is just educating me with it. You know, um I don't know what the meaning is behind it. I don't know if they what is it to, to try to drive me crazy? I don't know. But um I guess that's what they're trying to do. But but what I'm saying is if you it you can speak to people with colors, just like the bloods and the crips. If 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 a if a blood come through around a bunch of blues <laughs> you know what i'm saying he it's basically disrespect <laughs> you know what i mean you know so they're gonna dump on his ass you know what i mean so you just you just showing you basically showing it's a representation it's like a badge you know what i'm saying if you know if a, a, a blood bloods come in with the blue they showing the other cuz that you know, this is what i'm affiliated with I'm letting you know what I'm affiliated with. So it's the same with these stalkers. When they walk past you with red on, they just letting you know. I'm down with the get down. I'm down with this stupid ass 
gang stalking simulation shit. You know? So, you know, I just wanted, I just, fellas, though, I just wanted to say that, you know, another thing they like to do too, man, they like to hold the door. I had this white lady, man, the other day. This white lady, y'all. I'm coming, I'm coming through carrying something, and she was coming through from the opposite side. Um, I'm coming from coming out the door while I'm going in, and she was carrying something too. But she ran. I mean, yo, this white lady was running to the door to hold the door for me, a black man. I'm like, yo, they told this white bitch to hurry up and try to, you know, hold the door for the black man. You know, I never seen no shit like that in my life. You know damn well. Ain't no white girl rushing to hold no door for no nigga. You know what I mean? So it had to, she had to have been doing it because they told her to do it. They said, hurry up, the targeted individual's coming in. So you must be coming out. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, Truman Show um, um explains it so fucking well. You know, that's why I, I I really, really love that movie because they put so much in that movie that only the TIs will understand it. The Truman Show, Jim Carrey. Check that out, man. I did a little video on it on my page. So, um, but that's what she did, man. She was rushing out to hold the door for me. And she was carrying something. So, they're robots, man. These people out here do what they're told. They wear what they're told to wear. If they tell, if the AI's tell them to put on, a red coat or red hat, something red. That's what they do. If they tell them to put on dark sunglasses, that's what they do. Put on dark sunglasses. Put on um. Put on red. Put on blue. Whatever the color is, you know, that's just what they do. You know, so um. For all the TIs out there, man, you know, that's going through this um this this crap, you know, y'all just um just just stay aware. You know, be um. I know they say, oh man, we should ignore it. How can you ignore something that's in your face all the time? <laughs> you know what I mean? You just can't ignore it. I mean, they 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 make it they make it to the point where you got to pay attention to it because because I mean, you got to be like completely just bl deaf, dumb and blind to not even notice. You got to really really have your head in the sand to not see the patterns, you know what I'm saying? Because they are blatant with it. They're extremely blatant. I mean, they really, really put it in your face, you know, you know, um, like I said, they cut you off on the road, you know, their whole agenda is to get close. They got to get close because I guess, however, you know, when they, when, when the AIs, the people that's controlling this, this machine, when they, when they map it out, they can, they can see two dots because everybody's being tracked. Everybody. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's not just, it's not just, um, me. You know, say every they're targeting, they're targeting gang stalkers and TIs. Everybody is on the grid. You know, what I'm saying when they know where everybody's at, everybody on this damn planet, they know where you at. You cannot hide from the beast. You cannot hide from the beast. They know where you at. They know when you're taking a dump. They know when you're taking a shower. So don't get it twisted. You know, what I'm saying so. If you don't understand that. You better go ahead and watch Enemy of the State because they showed you that in the movie years ago. And not just that movie, but other movies as well. So if you don't know where you, you don't, if you don't know what time it is and if you don't know what world you live in, then that's on you. Shame on you. You the one got your head in the sand. So with that being said, I don't want to keep this video long. I know y'all got things to do, but you must be observing. You be a fool not to be, you know, and people say, oh, D, you know, don't stress. I'm not stressing. I just like to talk. That's all. And I'm talking about it and I'm exposing it and I'm putting it out there for all the ones that that can understand or, or, or if they're in the same boat. And like I said, we are all in the same boat. If there's only two type of people in the world, gang stalkers and T.I. So if you're not if you're not being stalked yet, trust me. You will be. You will be. It's just a matter of time. Either either they're going to convert you, either you're going to be a gang stalker, or you're going to be a TI. You're going to be the one getting stalked. You're going to be the one being followed to the supermarket. You're going to be the one followed to the gas station. Wherever you go, they're going to go. And that's just the way it is. I cannot make this up. 
I cannot make this up. You know what I'm saying? I cannot. I, this is all. This is all learn. Learn be. This is all learned behavior. You know, go dealing with this every day and seeing it every day. Now I'm. I done picked up. You know, it took. It took years for me to catch on to this shit. I believe there's levels to it too. I believe. I believe everybody pretty much probably started out as a as a targeted individual, and then they it just gradually changes within time because because people was always assholes. You know what I'm saying? People was always assholes growing up, even in school. You know what I mean? You know. Somebody said that in school, when you're in school, gang stalking is called bullying. And then when you get older, they see, kids go through kids go through bullying. Grown folk go through gang stalking. <laughs> but at the same time, it's all a form of bullying. Because that's all they're trying to do. They're trying to bully you. Get in your way. Be ignorant. Be nasty. You know, they're not your friends. They're not trying. If they're talking to you, they're talking to you for a reason. They're talking to you just to get paid. They don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? They're not your buddy. They're not your buddy at all. They are all, they are all out to get you. They're all connected to some wicked ass machine. And with that being said, y'all. Peace, keep your head up, and keep your eyes open, man. You know, I don't call it, uh, Phil Valentine said, I don't call it the third eye, I call it the first eye. So keep that first eye open, as well as your other two eyes. Peace.